so this is the description of vishwarupa so even vishwarupa you cannot imagine you know our tendency is this nowadays in the society spirituality means i think like this so what is the value of your thinking who cares i think 3 plus 3 should be 10 is it real people will laugh no no i think like that what is the value of your thinking who are you are you very important person that you new way you want to think so spirituality is the area where everybody wants to just hallucinate they think there is no standard books they think there no standard teachings there is not something to be gone and learned just like we get a bhagavad gita we purchase the bhagavad gita immediately it should be i will look for a teacher somebody can teach me this book because there is a standard book it is not that i know i think i i figured or <laughs> what you have figured out you been even if we read the book so many questions will come i have some question here i have some question here i'm not able to understand this and you go to a teacher standard learning so this is actually the a disaster which has happened uh, there was some don't know to name him one imposter who said yato mat tato pat whatever way you take that's right now can it be like that how what a, is it, can there be any bigger insult than this to a science which is standard throughout the history in the vedic culture you see somebody goes to a spiritual master he learns there are so many great spiritual master in indian history agree okay? and people have learned from them if it is that i can imagine whatever i want then what is the need to go to a teacher that's what most of the people i met somebody and i said that you have been so kind to me why don't you come sometimes give me some time few hours i can explain to you the meaning of bhagavad gita so swami ji i figured out <laughs> <laughs> I figured out, and it's figured out is don't know how to explain. It's total nonsense, no idea at all. What is the meaning of Bhagavad Gita? But uh, look at the joke. Just like somebody said, uh, "Why you are worshiping God, Narayana? Don't you see so many Narayanas roaming on the street? They come to your house as Daridra Narayana." So Prabhupada said, "Acha, that Daridra Narayana, you give food, and the God Narayana, you cut <laughs> chicken Narayana, you cut. <laughs> Prabhupada said, 'Acha, that Daridra Narayana, you give food, and the God Narayana, you cut <laughs> chicken Narayana, you cut. <laughs> What is this nonsense philosophy? Meaningless philosophy. How Narayana can become Daridra? Narayana is the husband of Lakshmi. He is Lakshmi Narayana. Huh? He is called Lakshmi Pati." and how lakshmi pati has been made daridra isn't it a insult god has become so poor <laughs> he is coming to your door to beg now this is the condition where these all kind of explanations are becoming more and more they are confusing the mass in the society more and more and this is an unfortunate situation so even if you want to understand vishrupa you have to hear what it is you tell me you come to know that arjuna set a bar if somebody says i am god there is a standard now what is the standard he has to show vishrupa because arjuna is there in that situation now somebody you tell show vishrupa you don't know what is vishrupa then how will you know he showed or not showed agreed or not you will think he will throw one uh, coin or some ash you think he is a vishrupa or something you don't know what is vishrupa even that you have to hear from the shastra what is vishrupa it look like millions of sun rising together let him show that much light first one sun itself you cannot bear in the day time can you bear a millions of sun rising together can you imagine the light ha huh? and then after that all the devatas are present in that what do you read now today can anybody repeat in english there are so many ha huh? the universe i see in your universal body many many forms huh? face mouth eyes expanded without limit huh? there is no end there is no beginning and there is no middle to all this like that all the devatas millions of hands millions of heads no end to 
that you seeing or actually you are seeing all the incarnation all the devatas everything you can see all right so now somebody say vishrupa yeah let me see what you can show can you show me within your form all the devatas all the incarnations of the lord all the jivas everything is there vishrupa means the whole universe energy with all the manifestations of the lord everything is there so it's not possible uh, if somebody can do that at least that will be one bar in fact interesting thing is devatas if they play magic in front of you you will think they are god even devatas are very 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 powerful you understand devatas are not ordinary they are also very very powerful people generally today what is the standard of people how do they say somebody is divine or somebody is powerful no this person he was having cancer they show all these things and they give witness you say yes it was like that and then he went for, for a test again after taking ashirwad of the sadhu the cancer vanished he is divine he is god ho gaya this is small very very small they mostly what happens when you go for cancer test once go second time many time i know first time it came right second time it come wrong also and that one story is enough you know one story is enough <laughs> don't want to so many jokes are there one story is enough then that person becomes you know world famous somebody was telling me i was telling somebody what we should do that you know quickly our krishna conscious movement spreads swami ji you have to call some few important people and in front of them do some magic like you turn water to charnamita then you will become amrita blah 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 so you will get some name something you have to do one magic once in front of some important people that's it crores of people will come to your place after that you can do whatever you want you have to do and they have to testify you did some magic this is how the society is bunch of fools in front of them what presentation you will make of krishna consciousness therefore prabhu says don't worry when you sell diamonds not many customers will come the people are not after they don't come to krishna consciousness they don't have a urge to know the truth tasmat guru prapadeta jigyasu shreya uttamam shastra say you go to a guru only when you have inquiry he said don't waste his time just like you go to a teacher when you have questions otherwise don't go please don't waste your time and his time what is the use teacher will have only wasn't business not to show them nothing in front of you he has a business to there was one i remember i went to one college it was a tough college and uh, some students were telling me sir teacher should teach in such a way interest bhi nahi ho to interest aa jaye i said okay that is on his part on your part what time you slept yesterday sir so 3:30 in the morning and you got up to came come class by 8 so just for 3 4 hours you have slept you sleep 3 4 hours watch 5 6 movies in the night and what teacher has to do some uh, dance in the class or what <laughs> to keep you interested you also have to be a qualified okay great teacher can also work there is always room for improvement what about you isn't it therefore the education system is almost collapsing because one thing the administration just pampers the students and the teachers have to go to entertain the students it's like a drama entertain and come out uh, it's very difficult condition day by day okay so what do we understand here that a real spiritual education to occur person should have a serious spiritual inquiry you say somebody is god how do i agree to that <coughs> should have serious inquiry but people do not want something they just believe in and they get some peace that's it they don't allow therefore they more and more they become fanatic not only religious followers are fanatic even the scientists are fanatics they are worse rather they say that we believe in knowledge they are worst i have tested talk to any scientist just little you touch on them as your darwin theory your problems with the darwin theory miller theory they become very angry more than a normal religionist the religion says see i don't want to talk to you that's fine i i will still continue my these people they think they are the harbingers of the truth 
दे आर द वन कैरिंग द ट्रूथ एंड दे आर द वन सेविंग द वर्ल्ड ने टेल दम इज ऑल इज नॉन सेंस वाई शुड आई बिलीव इन योर थ्योरीज थ्योरीज इवन अकॉर्डिंग टू साइंस आर नॉट टू बी बिलीव्ड थ्योरीज आर प्रपोजल टेंटेटिव प्रपोजल मे बी रॉन्ग इवन लॉज हैव बिन प्रूवन रॉन्ग थ्योरी तो वी कैन डाउट लाइक एनी थिंग एनी बडी दैट इज हाउ एनी वे दिस सो कॉल साइंट इज अ प्रोग्रेस बाय चैलेंजिंग प्रीवियस थ्योरीज but to start challenging the theories by which they have on based on which are unproven is just a tentative proposal but they are even worse in the uh, religion is sometimes i have generally seen they are worst religion is at least they generally follow a see i get some peace in this i follow this but they don't try to uh, have a pride that this is what will save the world they don't true but uh, in coming to krishna kaush is not in that way You see, Krishna whole Bhagavad Gita is so sweetly arranged. Constantly, Arjuna keeps asking Krishna this question, 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 and answers. You see, the whole Vedic culture has been like that: question, answers, isn't it? The so many philosophers in India who have spread their teaching. How did they spread? Not with the knife in their hand. They spoke. People heard them very patiently. None of them did all the tamasha of showing some magic. None of them. You don't see Shankara Charya, Buddha, Madhva Charya showing some cheap magic to attract followers. Prabhupada always used to say, "Magic is for fools," isn't it? Even you have the power, you will not show because then that suppose Acharya, they have the powers. They, if they walk on water, they can do all these things. But then that become the focus. Then, then that will become the focus. Nobody will hear class. Swami ji, first you walk on water, then you will hear. and the whole focus is on that you know so we should properly things should be oriented so this should be very much correct i am very much inquisitive i want to understand things and, and i cannot imagine a spiritual life to pro- properly learn if all the temples being part of the vedic culture there is so much philosophy so much understanding so much questioning i should become places of learning then the vedic culture will develop like this just for rituals it will, rituals will not last If those all the places where only rituals have become the main thing it will not last it will break apart people are not under, uh, not interested in rituals in kalyuga now true people are not interested in it proper says even for temples if you just think you can run your temple because of some rituals or puja patha temple will not last unless there is the energy enthusiasm for preaching the message of krishna consciousness neither personally neither collectively things will not last rather prabhupad called it joint mess you understand joint mess somebody brings money somebody cooks somebody serves and somebody eats <laughs> that is called joint mess <laughs> sometimes what happened by that itself people become satisfied how the temple usually most of the temple don't want to come and are like joint mess only for the people living there correct even they get salary most of the places they are even given salary it's not even a joint mess worse than that so what what at least in house is better than that in your home if you are having the lord you are worshiping that is better than this place at least you are not having salary suppose at home you have a picture of krishna you are worshiping you are worshiping by some love whatever little love you have you are worshiping agree you are not taking salary for doing that still you are have showing your devotion is pure when you go to a place a person is taking salary that is worst therefore somebody told me this statement it is very much true he said we go to a temple as a visitor with little devotion otherwise i'll not go all the way from my house walking walking okay but actually if the pujari who is doing puja can be in my platform temple worship will improve it he is very much true because the pujari is taking bhada and doing puja he is worse than a person who is coming from a house to all the way to see aarti you understand or not is it true or not is reasonable correct who is bigger devotee tell me who is taking bhada some salary to do puja or who is coming all the way from home walking taking bus sometime they travel for days all together they reach the place they have every minute of darshan they are preciously holding true they are so happy they sometimes he is much better than the person who is doing puja isn't it true there is a ghar ki kheti 
ghas or whatever it becomes a ah. it doesn't give any value and person is every minute of a darshan of the lord you tell him antulsi is available prasadam he is so much please give me isn't it we are understanding or not correct so it should be very very uh it should not therefore what is very important is that a temple should become place for learning the moment they come place for learning this bhada will come out <laughs> it will come out <laughs> they, you ask these bhada people anything they don't know how many shlokas you tell they don't know simply they will be sitting there it's a means of livelihood i told that joke no somebody in udupi they asked him that what are you planning for your children he said my one son is very intelligent he may want to make a doctor the other one uh, is not doing good marks uh, is not very intelligent i'll make him uh, pujari <laughs> imagine it is a matter easy matter it is so difficult to actually grasp to catch the truth in the vedic culture the most intelligent people were selected to study the vedic literature and teach they were called brahmanas and they were genuine brahmana not so called birth brahmanas of today today is a natak i am born in a brahmin family i am a brahman will move like that and they are only good for eating shraddha that's all any house shraddha have so many functions are there in a house i still remember we have to bring 10 brahmanas 20 brahmana that thing they only come for eating that's all because why he is a brahmana is born in a brahmin family i remember used to function then home we used to be told go and we used to collect so <laughs> please can you come one <laughs> you have to come to you have to have 11 16 uh, drama so this is first principle learn today is that a uh, temple should be place for learning and this should be the people in the temple and the public should go to temple to learn not just for rituals what they should go for to learn the vedic literature is correct you can have gita bhagavatam with me if somebody can teach it really fast just like you have so many books with you you don't become a doctor or engineer just by having books you go to somebody he teaches you true or not is true so therefore that is the role we have for the society true prabhupada shila prabhupada has written the book so nicely so nicely has explained this books still he told us to do the role of a teacher on his order we are doing that role otherwise we have no business to sit and speak anything because he has given the purpose but prabhu says no my dear disciples should explain this books to public okay so that they can read this book is more faith with more devotion and solve their any the questions they have that is one part the second part is that within the vishrupa everything is there that proves krishna is supreme personality of god even narayana krishna is going to show now that means krishna within krishna even narayana is there all the devatas are there the whole universe is there krishna is superior to all of those things you understand he is adi purusha when krishna shows within himself all the devatas he is higher than the devata they are within they are inside his control you got it there was an instance where brahma had a doubt that how many brahmas are there brahma went to meet krishna so krishna's doorkeeper was there he asked yes whom you want to meet i want to meet krishna the supreme personality of god he said okay uh, please wait a minute i'll go and ask krishna whether he likes to meet you so he went to krishna krishna would like to see brahma has come so krishna said ask brahma which brahma is he <laughs> you know the famous story so he came and asked brahma he is asking which brahma he said brahma which brahma he thought there is only one brahma brahma which brahma i am who say chaturmukha brahma chaturmukha brahma because that is speciality has four heads so he went to say that chaturmukha brahma has come he said okay tell him to come okay so krishna knew what is this because he is the antaryami he is in the heart of everybody as parmatma so krishna knew he said okay the moment he was paying obeisance suddenly millions of brahmas came and he was the smallest brahma somebody had million head thousand heads hundred head is looking the smallest all of paying obeisance to krishna so then they asked krishna krishna you called us no no just wanted to see all of you they said we are very thankful and they all went away so this brahma <laughs> looking so small so similarly so krishna could so therefore the brahma got convinced all the brahmas are within him they are under his control they are all his servants the same way krishna showed all the devatas all the avataras even narayana everything is within him Govinda Madhi Purusham Tamam Bajami. Therefore, Brahma prays 
that Krishna, the original personality, Him I worship. So we also worship in Krishna. Uh, why we are worshiping Krishna? Because the original personality of God. Shri Prabhupada ki, Bhagavad Gita ki. In life, we get into various perplexities many times, and we don't know how to uh, take a decision. Similarly, Arjuna, we know in the battlefield, was in a great perplexing situation in his course of his duty as a warrior, because his own family people were standing against him, including his teacher and his grandfather. But fortunately, he took shelter of Krishna, who guided him, and the message of Bhagavad Gita therefore came out. The first thing Krishna teaches to Arjuna is that we should not be affected by any condition of the body, either living or dead, because we are not the body, we are spirit soul, part and parcel of Krishna. And Krishna explains this to various arguments. And then Krishna talks about how we can control our mind and senses. And we have to be so careful if we are careless, the consciousness becomes degraded. Different steps how the consciousness degrades are discussed in Bhagavad Gita. And how in a degraded consciousness person concerns, he thinks even his sinful life to be a great pleasure. And finally, he ends up uh, even going to a wrong destination after death. Our even worship depends on what kind of consciousness we have cultivated. So to come out of all this, people practice yoga, uh, jnana, ashtanga and bhakti. And among them, Gita concludes that bhakti yoga is the highest yoga which makes us reach Krishna's lotus foot in Vaikuntha. And in Kaliuga, the best way to practice Bhakti Yoga is chanting the holy names of the Lord. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. And various examples are given in the Bhagavad Gita, how we should be determined in this. In any course of any activities we are doing, we can reach the Lord's lotus foot. We have to keep in mind four tendencies to help us not to reach the Lord and four tendency to help us reach the lotus foot of the Lord. Krishna also talks about Chaturvarna in Bhagavad Gita as different occupation which are not based on birth can finally make us reach Krishna. Message of Bhagavad Gita as it comes from Krishna to sun god Vivaswan to his son Manu then to Ikshavaku is discussed in Gita. How the Paramatma is there in everybody's heart witnessing our activities. How this middle world is the inverted form of the spiritual world and Krishna also reveals in Bhagavad Gita we all know Vishwarupa and in the Vishwarupa, Arjuna could see practically all the universe, all the powers of the universe, all incarnations are within Krishna. And this information helps us to surrender to the Lord because when you know God is great, we take his shelter. And Krishna also talks about the principle that he comes in various incarnations. And after that, Arjuna hearing all these things decides to surrender to Krishna. And that is how the Bhagavad Gita comes. It has been published in Karnada, in Karnataka, and it is a very popular uh, book. We also have it in all the various languages all around the world. Please do visit our center at ISKCON at Nantur. Hare Krishna.